Hey what's up guys and welcome to the Head Start Lab series Volume 5 on Music Production. Now this is a free tutorial brought to you by the Recording Connection Audio Program, the only program that gets you inside a real studio where you learn from industry professionals on their equipment. In this video series we're going to show you everything that you need to know about music production. And all these videos were made from real tutoring sessions at the Recording Connection. So in addition to learning in a real professional studio, all of our students receive free unlimited tutoring sessions while in the program. Let's go ahead and begin. Hey, what's going on everyone? Eddie Martinez here with Recording Radio and Film Connection and welcome back to the Head Start Lab series. Now, in this video, what I want to go ahead and do is just give you a refresher type of course on key commands. Now, as you already know, key commands are is basically really important to know, especially if you're working in a program like uh, you know, Pro Tools, or in this case, Logic Pro X, uh, it's really, really important that you know your key commands. So, uh, you know, obviously you got your, you know, regular key commands that work across most, uh, you know, applications like your copy and paste, which is going to be your command C, your command B, um, you know, maybe you have a, you know, command E so that you can, uh, what is that called, cut, that sort of stuff. Uh, but I'm talking about more, more importantly, the key commands in Logic Pro, which are going to be like how to mute, which is going to be M, how to solo a track, which is going to be S, and so on and so forth. Now, what's really important to know is, you know, all your key commands, I guess, your rudimentary ones. But the things that you can't get down uh, right away, you might want to consider uh, modifying yourself so that they'll be easier for you to remember or maybe just quicker. Uh, so what's really great about Logic Pro X, and this actually works across the board for most of the other logics that came before it, is that it allows you to make your own customized key commands. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, a customized key command that I have right now is um, the forward slash button. I use that actually to um, make my cuts or, or my splits. So right there I split this track and if I want to go, let's say, yeah, split right here. And if I want to move back and split this track right here, I went ahead and do that with, did that with my own specific and custom made um, split tool key command. So uh, what we're going to want to do is get into the key command editor, uh, which you could easily do by hitting command K. Or if you don't want to do that, you could obviously go to Logic Pro X, go down to preferences, and actually go down to key commands, my mistake, uh, go down to edit right there. So right here you can see a list of all the possible key commands that are available. Actually, I made a selection earlier. So here are all your, your key commands that you can work with, uh, which it is a whole lot of uh, different key commands. And some of the obvious ones, like you know, uh, you can see right here your uh, toggle transient edit mode. You can hit your command T right here. And of course you'll find your, you know, your P to get to the piano roll and other things like that. Uh, but if you want to make your own uh, custom you know, key modifier or uh, key command, you can also do that here too. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and create um, a end to end of selection tool, uh, which will actually take me to the end of whatever uh, region I'm selecting. So all I need to do is type in end of, and I'll see all the, um, or actually maybe go to, let's try that, go to. So if I want to go to the end or go to the beginning, all the go-to commands are going to be right here and I can modify them to my liking. Uh, so they have a go to start, which is going to be your shift return. And if I wanted to go to um, the end of the selection, I'm going to go ahead and create that right now. So all I need to do is uh, go right here and type in learn new assignment. Click right here. Actually, learn by key label. That's the one we really want. And now that I have both of these selected, I can go ahead and decide what I want to use to um, you know, make this key modifier key command. In this case, I'm thinking that I want a shift E, you know, shift just because um, E might be already taken, and E because I want it to go to the end of something. So that's how I'm gonna remember this particular key command. And then once I'm done with that, I'll just go ahead and click again, uh, learn new assignment. And it, and it did, and as you can see right here, go to end. I have my new shift E right here, and it's ready for use. So let's go ahead and check it out. So I hit return, and let's say I want to go to the end of this particular um, region. It'll actually bring the playhead up to the beginning of measure nine or the end of measure eight, however you want to see that. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a shift E. 
And as you can see, I went ahead and moved that there. And if I went ahead and selected uh, this region right here, Shift E brought me to that one. If I select here, and this could actually help me, you know, work a little bit faster, especially if I'm working with really large regions, uh, which are usually going to be like one take instruments. If if it's a guitar recording or something like that, you just want to quickly move to the end of that uh, area. You could simply do that with this new key command. And of course, as you could tell, all the other available key commands are modifiable as well. So if there are other, let's say you don't want the piano roll to be P, you want it to be shift P for one particular reason or another, you could definitely make that modification. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. Go ahead and leave your comments and thoughts down below in the section. Uh, if you haven't already uh, subscribed, go ahead and do that as well. Definitely helps. And also you're going to be helping yourself by getting so many new uh, videos to go ahead and watch over that absolutely free through the recording connection. As always, I'm Eddie Martinez, and of course, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Thanks for watching this video. And if you're watching this video and you're not currently enrolled to the Recording Connection, this is only a small taste of what you could be learning in our program. The Recording Connection provides all of our students with industry standard software, like Pro Tools, to take your engineering skills to the next level. We also provide books with excellent lesson plans, a professional studio engineer who will mentor you and show you how to operate real studio equipment, and so much more. With the Recording Connection, getting finance is a breeze. We have many different tuition options, so getting hooked up at a studio near you is fast and easy. For more information, check out www.recordingconnection.com. And of course, I'll catch you guys on the next video.